Good morning and welcome back. Um, okay, so today is going to be a nine to five working day, working from home edition because it's Friday. Yay! Um, and yeah, I'm going to be working from home. Um, sorry if you can hear like the cars passing and stuff outside. I've got the window open. Um, I still need to have the window open wide because I wake up and I still feel so warm. In fact, we're still sleeping with the window open, um, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to shut it soon because I can tell that the temperatures are dipping. Anywho, I digress and I'm not trying to. So yeah, join me on this day. Um, so I do have a little bit of work to get out of the way. I've got to um, finish uh, some board minutes from yesterday for work. And I need to prepare for next week. Um, there's quite a lot going on at work. As I've told you before, and sorry if this is the first video you're joining, I'm an executive assistant to a COO at a real estate um, firm here in London. Um, September through to Christmas is usually a stupidly hectic time. Um, it is the time where we, or the period in the year where we really try to cram so much in. I have no idea why. It is almost as though, you know, everything drops off a cliff by Christmas and so you've just got to get it done. And that's very much how I feel that we operate. I'm gonna prepare myself for next week and just sort out some stuff. Um, and yeah, and that's it. Um, this week has been a really, uh, good week. It's been a busy week because we had Monday off for the Queen's funeral. It was a bank holiday here in the UK. Woo -woo. I was very pleased about that. So, um, we had an extended holiday having come back from our Turkey trip last week. Um, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday flew by, like literally flew by. Um, which I'm not mad at, don't get me wrong. Um, I'm the first one to admit, like, straight up, I am here to live, not work. So the less time I can spend working, the better for me. One of the biggest things that have come out for me this week, and I can't even delve too much into it right now, but when the time's right, trust me, I'm gonna let rip. With regards to work, there will come a time in your life where you have the most resolve about what is right for you and you will find yourself in a new very steadfast place and position whereby people can't easily entice you away from things if it's not right for you and so just to put a little bit more context around that, um, there was a discussion this week about a potential opportunity um, that may or may not arise for me in the near future elsewhere in another company. And I have a very strong and deep resolve, conviction even, about what is right for me at this stage in my life and where I want to be moving to next and what my next career path job looks like. Not career path, actually, sorry, that's an error. What my next job looks like. And I don't think I really understood until this week when someone was talking to me about the potential of another opportunity that may or may not happen um how convicted and how much resolve i have of what will be for me and what won't be for me and i realized that the big titles of companies the big 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 huge corporates and all that comes with it is not for me i didn't realize this actually i knew this but what happened this week is that was further solidified because I wasn't getting those butterflies in my stomach. I wasn't getting that slight confusion that happens in the back of your mind when someone offers you an opportunity and you're like, oh my gosh, should I go for this? Should I do this? Um, and as I say, I say offer an opportunity is something that is a possibility and it could potentially come to fruition in the future. 
And I am just so grateful for the amount of clarity that I have right now. I am fully aware of the direction that I want my life to go in. I fully, I'm fully clear and aware of what I'm focused on. I am not movable on the things that I'm trying to achieve. And to that end, I already know that this opportunity is not for me. It's not one that I'm going to be taking and I'm not going to be jumping on it. And it's so funny because Kelly, 10 years ago, if I was 27, 28, I would have been itching on the end of my seat for this opportunity. Um, and now I'm like, this doesn't align for me. There is nothing about this opportunity that is an opportunity for me. You know, it means that I'm going to have to really grind again at work. It means that I'm going to have to work with a load of corporate suits. I'm trying to get away from that eventually. And it means that I'm going to have to work with even more um, snobby, entitled, up their own ass people. And I don't want to do that. Um, and... I guess what I really want to say to anybody who happens to stumble across this video and this point in particular is just stay firm in your convictions, stay firm in your resolve, follow your gut, your heart, your mind. And you know what is even more bizarre? There will be occasions when your head, heart and gut are aligned. I don't feel like this is often, not for me anyway. I normally operate from a place of my head and I wish I was more like my fiance, whereby I operate from a place of how I wish to feel, you know, my heart, how does it feel? When we talk, it's so interesting. I always talk from what feels logical. So I'm not really talking about feeling, it's what's going on in my head, what seems to make sense in here and what would seem what would make the most sense if I was to talk this out loud to other people and what I notice about Alex is that he always by and large talks about a place of feeling and I I love that you know I, I don't feel like I have enough people in my life who talk from a place of how they feel I think that I really love in my fiance is so opposite to me and I do try it more but for this one place in my life, I can say that my head, my heart and my gut are all aligned. You know, I know how I'm thinking. How I'm thinking is how I know that I want to feel. And it's in line with what I'm thinking and feeling. But also in my gut, there is no butterflies. There is nothing that is making me think like, Kelly, are you sure? Are you sure you shouldn't be enticed? Anyway, that is a, a bit of a ramble for a Friday morning, uh, not even half past eight yet. But I think somebody will be able to relate. And yeah, it feels good. And, and genuinely, you know, yeah. lunch um i have gone for ramen can you believe this is like my second ramen this week and before this week i was not a ramen fan mm. i just didn't get it like alex has been trying to tell me about ramen's for ages and i just didn't get it anyway so i've got a chili chicken ramen from 
Wagamamas. It could be a little bit more spicy for me. So I'm sure next time I'll add in some chili oil. Um, but all good. Mm. So work thus far. Um, I had a couple of major things to get out this morning that I wasn't anticipating, but when I logged on, I realized, oh, I need to go and get those out. So that's all done and dusted. I still need to do my board minutes from yesterday, which I will crack on with this afternoon. What I'm planning to do is eat this and then go for a nice walk, which I'll take you on with me. Um, and um, yeah, come back and crack on with that. Uh, what else happened this morning? Ah, oh, we had the mini budget from the Chancellor of the Exchequer. And the only bit that really bothered me was about the stamp duty. And so thankfully, excuse me, apologies. Um, it will mean that uh, in real money terms, we'll pay two and a half grand less for stamp duty. Um, I think that it's a very, in all truthfulness, for me, my view, and obviously working in a real estate company, it's like... So I went on a bit of a tangent here, but I basically wanted to say that I don't really feel like this mini budget will be of a huge help. It's um, definitely beneficial or more beneficial to businesses and it will definitely, definitely help the rich. Um, but the likes of you and I and the average person, not so much, but hey, I'll take what I can get. But it is some good news and a little light relief. Um, so let me finish off my ramen and go for my walk. <laughs> So, I'm out on my first walk in what has been ages, like all summer, I don't think I went out for a walk. And I am a walking girl, I love to walk, it's my thing, it's always been my thing. But the minute it gets a little bit more gloomy and miserable outside, here's Kelly, happy as Larry, back on her walking. So, we're just doing a quick half an hour walk today nothing too strenuous but the weather is perfect for it how excited I am for the weekend first weekend after holidays so what I'm gonna do is Mr. Bullye is out 
having drinks with friends. So, I am going to indulge in the time to myself that I have the home. And I'm going to go and get some snacks and come back and be a little bit of a fatty bum. I say a little bit of a fatty bum bum because I was just checking my um, diary. And in two weeks' time, I have the first bridesmaid fitting. Um, a friend of mine is getting married next May and she asked me to be bridesmaid um so yeah I've got the first fitting so really I could do with trimming down my ass um but that's tomorrow's problem like today today I want snacks now the problem is I want to order it from get it and not go back outside but I really don't want that much and I'm just wondering should I just be making some popcorn or I don't know. Anyway, I've got that Friday feeling. You can feel the energy. Can you feel that? Can you feel the energy? Because I have got that Friday feeling. That feeling of I can do whatever I want and LA and it's coming tomorrow. We love, we love to see it. We love. Okay, let me go. Let me go for now. <laughs>